I recently picked up a new USB microphone and it is way better than I expected. So because of that, I want to share it with you and tell you what's good about it, what it's useful for, and where you can get it. So the mic that I picked up is this right here. It is the Soidmai SF900 USB microphone. I've seen it on Amazon and a couple other places online, and I've actually seen a few different brands that make the SF900. There's a Yanmai, there's a Soidmai, and a few others. The main reason I picked up this microphone is because I wanted to simplify my setup at my computer. I play video games with my wife and her brother, and I use the microphone for chatting in-game. And I didn't have a really simple mic setup. I have a nice setup for when I do videos like this, and it's a condenser mic on a boom arm, and it's got a shock mount, and I have to plug it into an audio interface. And it sounds great, but it was annoying to set up, and I really wanted to just simplify because there's no need for that kind of a setup for just simple streaming or video calls or stuff like that. I actually was able to pick up this mic on a really good deal. Someone posted a coupon code online, and instead of the normal $50, $60, $70 that this mic usually is, I only paid $15. And I'm going to tell you right now, for $15, this mic is an absolute steal. If you can pick up this mic that price, if there's ever another coupon code, just buy it right away. It's totally worth more than $15. I'm actually pretty happy with the quality, and I'd say it's probably worth the $40, $50, $60, 70 you see it go for. But if it were me, I'd wait until it goes on sale or you can get a coupon code. Before I get any further, I want to mention that all of the audio that you're listening to right now is straight from the mic and it is unedited. I'm recording straight to my computer and I'm not doing any editing whatsoever. You're hearing it exactly as it comes out of the mic. Like I mentioned, I wanted a simple mic setup and this mic totally fits that. In both Mac OS and in Windows, I didn't have to install any drivers whatsoever. It just worked out of the box. One minor caveat is that in macOS, for some reason, I couldn't get the mic to record correctly in Audacity. I kept getting an error. I tried a few different things and I was never able to resolve it, but the mic worked in every other program I tried using. And in Windows, the mic works just fine in Audacity. In fact, that's what I'm using to record right now. The microphone has four different modes. I'm gonna quickly go over them. There are knobs on the back of the mic that allow you to switch between the modes. I'm using cardioid mode right now, which is useful for podcasting, video chatting, things like that where you are directly in front of the microphone and only your voice needs to be picked up. There is a stereo mode that you can use for recording music. I haven't tested it out, I probably never will, but it's available. If you need me to test it out, let me know in the description below and I'll figure out a good way to test it. There is a bi-directional mode used for interviewing people. Um, there are different pickups on the different sides of the mic, so if you're in an interview with you on one side of the mic and the person you're interviewing on the other side of the mic, bi-directional would be good for that. It should pick up both voices equally. And lastly, there's an omnidirectional mode that picks up audio from all around the mic. This would probably be useful if you are using the mic as like a speakerphone in a meeting or you're in a group and you all want to be heard equally from the mic. Besides the mode knob, there is also a gain knob on the back of the mic that lets you control the gain of the mic. Up to this point, I've had the mic at about 45% gain. For my current setup, that 45%-ish gain is really good. It gets me really good volume for speaking, but then when I'm not speaking like this, the noise floor is around negative 42 dB, so it's decent. If I wanted to, I could throw some noise reduction onto my audio, and then the quiet parts would sound like this, and the talking parts would sound like this. If I wanted to decrease the volume of my audio or just get rid of background noise, I can lower the gain on my mic. Let me do that now. And this is with the gain turned totally down. It's probably a lot harder to hear me, but you also don't hear the background noise like my computer if I bring the mic right up to my voice, it sounds really good, I think, and I'm not clipping at all, but I'm also not very quiet. It's just about what I need. If I could find a good way to mount this mic, I would probably have it in this setup all the time. I really like the sound of this, but this mic is not a traditional cylindrical microphone shape, so it can't fit into most traditional shock mounts, and I haven't found a good way to mount it with the threaded screw on the bottom. The product description says that the thread on the bottom of the mic is a 
standard 15 millimeter thread but I don't know of anything that uses 15 millimeter threads. I looked online and I saw a lot of things using 5 8 inch, which is close to 15 millimeters, but nothing that's using 15 millimeters. So if you know audio stuff better than I do, let me know if there actually are 15 millimeter thread mic stands or things like that, and I will gladly use one. But until then, I'm probably just going to use the mic on its included stand and keep it on my desk. Now that we've heard the mic with the gain turned all the way down, let's turn the gain all the way up. All right, and now the gain is all the way up. It's a lot noisier. I can see that I'm clipping, but I just want you to hear what this sounds like. And if I'm not speaking, this is what the background noise sounds like. So the mic definitely picks up a lot more background noise. I'm gonna move this back down to my 45-ish percent. There we go. So I think that sounds pretty good for me. One thing that I think is pretty cool about this mic is I can actually use it on my phone. The mic uses a USB-A to micro USB cable to connect the mic to the computer usually. And I don't know of any phones that have a USB-A port, but my phone has USB-C and I have a USB-A to USB-C adapter. So I tried that out, plugged it into my phone, and sure enough, it actually works. My phone detects the mic as a headset and I can use it as my mic for anything I need. I can use it as a mic for making videos. I can use it for video calls. I can use it for audio recording and it works just flawlessly on my phone. I was pleasantly surprised. On the front of the mic, there is a mute button and a volume knob. The mute button, if I hit it, so you probably couldn't hear that because I muted myself. It is as simple as you would expect it to be. The volume knob changes, obviously, the volume for any headphones that are connected to this microphone. Right now, these headphones are actually plugged into the bottom of this microphone, and that way I can monitor my microphone I can hear if my mic is too loud, too quiet, if it's picking up too much background noise. It's really nice to be able to hear the audio coming from the mic. And of course, the microphone acts as an audio pass-through device, so all the audio coming from my computer, I can also hear on my headphones. I don't have to switch it between the mic and my computer. So what do you think? Is this mic worth the price? It's definitely worth the price that I paid. For $15, this is a no-brainer. Do you think this mic is worth $50, $60, $70? I think it probably is. If you're interested in purchasing one of these mics for yourself, I will leave a couple of links in the description below. The links are affiliate links, which means I get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon if you purchase. I would greatly appreciate it if you plan on purchasing if you use my link, but if not, no worries. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Okay, bye. Sounds I'm breathing